Second valedictorian is Matt Casher. Matt, please come down. <laughs> Matt's honors and special awards include who's who among high school students, National Honor Society, high, highest honor roll, GR Math Club Award, Idolize Award, and GR Men's Club Award. Matt will be taking Fordham University and then decided on a major. Dr. Naney, Mr. Patty, Mrs. Rabatin, Mr. Khalifi, school board members, faculty, and guests. Thank you for joining our class on graduation. I was racking my brain for a way to start this speech off, and the only thing I could think of was to start off with a joke. But after I'd written it down, I remembered a teacher once say that humor is the best attention getter for a speech, but only if it works. So I decided to just tell you about the joke instead of having it fall flat. I should introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. I'm Matt Casper, I've gone to JR since seventh grade, and I'm up here today because I got good grades. Some of my best grades came from the papers I wrote, so I'd assume that my English teachers would be pretty disappointed if I came up here and gave a bad performance. I thought I'd be able to come up with a speech really easily, but the problem was that even though I had a ton of ideas, none of them fit the mold that I had created. I wanted to give a speech about who I was and, and my personality, but spoke to everybody, not just family and friends. I didn't want to give a speech about how far we've come over the last six years or you know, how hard I worked to be up here. So here it is. There's this band I really like, Keen. Uh, they're from the UK and they have this song called Nothing In My Way. And that song to me correlates to today. After today, there's no more credits to get, no more tests to take and our calendars are wide open, and we get to choose what we fill them up with. Nothing is in our way, except today. And that's why today's special. Today, we sit on the stage, we receive our diplomas, turn our tassels, and leave. When we walk out of the doors of GAR in a short while, everything's gonna change, and all we're gonna have left are the memories. The only thing that can keep us going is to realize that while this change might seem monumental, it's only as big as we make it. Today isn't just our high school graduation. It's our first major milestone in our lives. Leaving Dotson for GAR wasn't exactly like altering for me, but leaving GAR for the rest of my life, that's a bit of a change. Change, a small word that carries a daunting message. Everybody's afraid of change. Even the people who say they aren't, deep down are a little bit, because change means going into the unknown, and the unknown can bring failure. Arnold Bennett, a British novelist, said, any change, even a change for the better, is always accompanied by drawbacks and discomforts. I chose this quote because I think it exemplifies graduation so well. Graduation is certainly a change for the better, but we still have doubts and nostalgic sadness. Now, I promised myself I wouldn't give a cliched speech, but for a moment, let's just think back to when we first came to GAR. Now, yeah, we sat in the auditorium, and we waited for our teachers to get us, and we were lost, and we didn't know anybody, but none of that really stuck in my mind. However, I do remember getting our computer usernames, and Mrs. Stansky telling us that the C10 that went in front of our initial and our last name meant class of 10. And at age 12, I thought, eventually it's going to be 2010, and we're going to be leaving. Yet, throughout my high school career, I never really regarded graduation and departing from GAR as a real occurrence. It's like being born. Before we're born, we don't know anything about what lies ahead. We knew nothing but the life we were living, and we can't fathom what comes after. Even today, I still have no idea what leaving GAR will be like. It probably won't hit any of us until September when we don't come back. Our lives as we know will never be the same. To be honest, I'm not upset at all. I've been looking forward to leaving the entire year. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it here, I'm just ready to go. As for my classmates, I hope you are too, because ready, ready or not, it's over. The only piece of high school we will have left after graduation concludes is the memories. Whether the memories that stand out are from class, sports practices, work, or just hanging out at night. Um, They'll always be with us, no matter what. Ethan and I will never hide behind the clubhouse at Cole Street to get out of running laps during soccer practice again. 
And Debbie and I won't be running up Lehigh Street at 819 trying to beat the bell, like we did almost every day this year. There will never be another German dance party, and Kishba's Breakfast Club won't be meeting first period next year. But I won't forget those times. The little things, that's what I'm going to take away from high school. Of course, some big events will stick in my mind, too. I will never forget Sadie Hawkins Day, and I don't think Tom will either. <laughs> While memories are great, they also make us a little sad. Looking back, we might even dare to say we wish we could do it all over again. But we can't, so we have to cope. Instead of looking at today as that milestone and addressing the reality that our lives are changing and we have no idea where they're going, let's step back and look at today as just any other day. Not much is different if you really think about it. We just came here for a couple hours, and afterward, we're going on with the rest of our day. Today is important, and it would be wrong to downplay it too much, but in reality, graduation is just a formality. We don't have to look at the life ahead of us as scary because, you know, today is a chapter in our lives. That chapter has been in the process of closing for a long time. High school's purpose is to prepare us to, for whatever we go on to do. We're graduating. We must be ready. Instead of the future seeming possible, let's view it as possible. And it won't be as difficult to say goodbye. In closing, just as Tom Chaplin, Chaplin of Keene would put it, it's just another day, nothing in my way, I don't want to go, but I don't want to stay, so there's nothing left to say. <laughs>